in this video what I want to show you is the positions of the members and the bevels required to construct a semi-octagonal roof um, which is probably the most common type of octagonal roof built. If you wanted to build a fully octagonal or an eight-sided roof then you can just uh, mirror what I'm about to show you and I'll show you the other main difference as we get to it. So here's our roof with our semi-octagonal end as you can see there and here are the center line positions of our main members so our um, centering rafters will go here our rafters run at 90 degrees to our plates so we're going to have a few more rafters of different types of rafters than we had before our hips bisect our corners and our corners this time are not 90 degrees, they're going to be 45 degree corners here. Uh, and we're of course we're going to have creepers and we're going to have common rafters going up the rest of the roof as well. So you notice that the distance that we have here is equal to the distance to our centering rafters. And I'll explain in another video how we get this distance and how we work out these wall lengths as well. So as usual, our first two members are our ridge and our centering rafters. And if you were doing a fully octagonal roof, you would not need to have the ridge. You would just butt the two centering rafters together. They would meet in the middle. And then you can just mirror what we're going to do on this side, on this side, to create a fully octagonal roof. So ridge centering rafters, our crown end rafter coming in at 90 degrees to our centering rafters. Now the little bit of difference, we have these two rafters here. Now even though they look like hips and they're going to have the old hip bevels on them, they are actually rafters because they're coming off the plate at 90 degrees. Okay, but they're going to have an edge bevel on them, so that's the one bevel that's different to a hip roof that we need to develop and then we're going to have our hips bisecting our corners and coming in as well. So quite a bit of timber sitting up here at the gathering point and gets uh, you know, fairly complicated sitting in there. Um, and then we're going to have our creepers coming in 90 degrees off our plate to our hips. And of course we'll fill the rest of the roof in with common rafters and do whatever roof you're doing on this end, or whatever system you're going to do here. So there we go. We also need to put in our ceiling frame, of course, and an under pearl, and if the rafter size uh, dictates that we need it, and that's our semi-octagonal roof put together. So the bevels that we need, as I said before, pretty similar to our uh, standard hip roof, except we have an extra edge bevel for our rafters. So first one there, plumb bevel for our common rafter. Of course we're going to have a level bevel for our common rafter. We're going to have an edge bevel for our creepers and an edge bevel for our rafter. Okay, so you don't want to mix them up. Edge bevel creeper down here edge bevel rafter up here. And we're going to have our standard hip bevels. So plumb bevel hip, level bevel hip, and our edge bevel for our hip. And then we go around to our purlin bevels. So face bevel purlin, edge bevel to the purlin, and that's it. Nine bevels to create a semi-octagonal roof.